Many people ask me, what is meditation? Meditation for me is something very important because I've integrated meditation in my life as a very practical tool. It's very useful for personal life, but also very useful for professional life. I would say that meditation is really something very personal because every person is very different. So every person develops its own really method of meditation. But I would say that meditation has uh, like three main objects, aims. Uh, first aim is to draw your attention within. It's the art of disconnecting of the outside world and connect with your inner world of the thoughts and feelings and what's happening inside. Second aim is uh, to really create calm inside yourself, to calm your mind, to quieten your thoughts so that you can have a more peaceful uh, state of being. And the third uh, aim is to, to learn the art to be present, to enjoy every moment of your life, to enjoy the process of your life and not be so caught up in the results. So when, you, when we practice all these things, uh, we get some results, some benefits. What are these benefits? First, very clear, is relaxation, tranquility, calmness, silence, peace. That's very important in our lives. But this is not enough. There is also clarity, clarity in your mind. For what? To take right decisions, to know what do you really want to do in your life, to know what's important in your life. So this clarity is very important. Usually we think too much. So with meditation, you clean your mind and you create space so that you can see clearly what to do and what to decide. Then it's this ability to enjoy the moments, to enjoy being with someone and listening to them, to enjoy nature, to enjoy uh, a walk, to enjoy these little moments of life that we, many times we miss them because we are in a hurry. So meditation helps you to stop, to see and to enjoy. But this is not enough. There is also the possibility to renew your energy inside. When you meditate, there is something inside that happens that renew your energy. So it's very important to create energy inside yourself and also to create a healthy distance between what is happening outside and what is happening inside so that you can develop more emotional control over your emotions so that you can learn the art of respond instead of reacting. Meditation involves an internal effort to self-regulate the mind in some way. So, how to meditate? There are a few steps that, if you follow these steps, you can uh, learn the art of meditation. First step is to draw your attention within. It's the art to disconnect of what is happening outside and to connect with your inner world, to observe your inner world. And for that, the first step is to connect with your breathing. This is the easy way to disconnect and connect. So you connect with your breathing and you observe the rhythm of your own breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. If you are able to stay there, to be really present in this breathing and disconnect from everything else, you will see lots of benefits. And this is already enough if you want to remain in this practice. But still there are more steps if you want to go farther or more deeper. And then you go with your attention to your mind and you start to observe your mind and observe the thoughts in your mind, but as a detached observer with a distance and you don't identify with the thoughts. This needs a little bit more of practice, but you will see if you are consistent in your practice, you will develop this ability to detach from your thoughts and to be able to observe how they come and how they go, like clouds. Clouds come and clouds go. So you remain in this observation and this helps you a lot to be detached also from your emotions and what is happening outside and be able to respond in a better way. But you can go a little bit deeper and draw your attention more within and instead of the thoughts to connect with the observer, the presence who is behind the thoughts. And this is more deep. And you can find in this space, inner space, you can find deep silence, deep peace, really renovation, renewal, and your energy grows and you can expand inside yourself. There is a beautiful place to stay. 
And if you practice and practice, you will see that you can, you can have beautiful experiences, more deep experiences, also spiritual experiences. But this depends on the practice and on the time. So you need not only practice, but you need to be patient with yourself, because not every day is the same. You need to be constant. That is the only way to get results, to be constant. And you need determination. Because you will see that many times the mind, your mind will say, no, I don't want to meditate, I, I'm bored, this is not for me. So you have to continue and you will get results. If you want to do it, you will find a way. If not, you will find an excuse. Let's have a practice of one moment of meditation. First, stop, relax your body and draw your attention within. Connect with your breathing. Observe your breathing and flow with the natural rhythm of your breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. And you can see and observe that your breathing is like the waves of the ocean. The raise of the waves and the fall of the waves. Connect with this rhythm of the waves of your own breathing. As you breathe in and breathe out, relax your body. Release any tension of your body and experience relaxation, calmness and tranquility. And now, observe your mind, observe your thoughts as an observer. Every thought is like a cloud. The clouds come and the clouds go. You observe your thoughts. Don't identify with your thoughts, just observe them. And in this distance, natural distance, there is peace. There is tranquility. And you become the observer, the detached observer, who is able to create a distance between the thoughts and the observer. And in this distance, there is peace, calm, and silence. And remain in this beautiful inner silence for a moment. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's the art of um, relaxing, mm -hmm. clearing your mind and, and breathing, isn't it? Exactly. And you used to do it? You used to practice or not? I used to do some meditation, yeah. I used to do some meditation. My brother's a big, a big devotee. Yeah. And do you see some benefits practicing? I think you do. I think you know, it gives you a sense of inner calmness, a sense of inner peace. I think, um, and in an increasingly busy world, I think it's, exactly. it's, har it's harder to find that time. When you're relaxed, trying not to think about anything. <laughs> yeah. And do you think it's a good practice in these days, in these travel days? Yes, why not? Yeah, yeah. because you have a lot of stress and you have a lot of job work and uh, you work in the office, then you need to relax and this is the best way to do that. Finding peace, uh, self-awareness, calmness, something like that. Mm -hmm. no. And uh, do you think that it's an important um, practice? For some people, certainly. Um, I haven't really tried it too much, but maybe it's something I should start doing. Everybody in some way or another each day um, meditates and perhaps prays in some, some form or another. Uh, meditation is just when you uh, really go within yourself and zone out. Um, I don't meditate very often. It's very difficult for me, but, uh, but I think it's a great thing to do, it's just very difficult to learn how to meditate. You think so, yes. And why is, why is it difficult for you? 
Well, just because it's so hard to block everything else out and to really, um, you know, just not think about anything other than what you're supposed to be thinking about, which is actually nothing, just kind of breathing and listening to your, to your inner self. It's difficult. Meditation is not easy, it's not difficult. It's just a question of practice. It's a question of training your mind. There is not a good meditation or a bad meditation. When you focus inside yourself and you train your mind and you practice, you will be and you will see results. Mm -hmm.